Football in England isn't just a game, it's a way of life. From the roaring chant to the passionate fans, the culture is vibrant and intense. But it wasn't always as regulated as it is today. Back in the day, having a pint whilst watching the match was as common as a half-time pie. But this all changed in the 1980s. The 1970s and 80s saw a rise in hooliganism. Violent clashes between rival fans became a serious issue and alcohol was often a major factor. The situation escalated to the point where the government had to step in. Something had to be done to curb the chaos and make football safe again. In 1985, the tipping point came with the tragic events at the Hazel Stadium disaster where 39 fans actually died. It's a, it's a war scene. It's a, not, nothing to, other to, to, to explain. It's a, it's a war picture. The disaster wasn't directly related to alcohol, but it highlighted the need for stricter controls. In response, the UK government introduced the Sporting Events Act of 1985. This law prohibited the consumption of alcohol within the view of the pitch at football matches. The ban means you can't drink in the stands, but alcohol is still sold in concourses and hospitality. The aim? To reduce the likelihood of alcohol fueled violence and to create a safer environment in the stands. The ban has been a topic of debate ever since. Should the ban stay or should it go? On the one hand, many argue the ban should stay. They believe it maintains order, reduces violence, and keeps the focus on the game. There's also the argument that alcohol in large crowds can lead to aggressive behaviour putting other fans, including families, at risk. But others believe the ban is outdated. They point out that in other sports like rugby or cricket, fans can drink responsibly without any issue. They argue that lifting the ban could enhance the matchday experience, increase revenue for clubs, and reflect the modern, more controlled atmosphere in stadiums today. Many clubs and fans have adapted to this law, embracing the atmosphere outside of the stadium before the match starts, with designated pubs. However, there is another issue at play. Because of this ban, many fans do engage in heavy drinking before the match, to make up for the fact that they can't drink during the game. This pre-match binge drinking can lead to fans entering the stadium already intoxicated, which kind of creates the very problem the ban was meant to prevent. With changing times and improved security, there's ongoing discussion about whether it's time to lift this ban. I went out and asked the public what they thought. What's your thoughts on the ban on drinking in stands? It seems archaic. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to make yeah. sense. You, you, I can if you're going to drink outside anyway. Then. Yeah, yeah. I think it probably forces people to drink more than they were intending beforehand yeah. um, I can see you can make it a case by case like I would say you know for United versus City yeah you might say yeah no booze or whatever yeah. but aside from that it doesn't seem to it seems pretty restrictive what are your thoughts on the drinking ban in stadiums you should be allowed to drink uh, you know it, it has a I think it's good. You, you, it's a very emotional point, especially when you watch uh, United. You get emotional, all and just drinking. Uh, this yeah. thing also helps, and we all there to enjoy. And uh, I personally feel it should be kept, but then there are people who, you know, who, who misuse because yeah. they can't control their emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, especially people, uh, they end up with a fight with away team and also yeah. again like a disadvantage is like you got a lot long queues, uh, and then sometimes I personally I like I went for a match and then I couple of uh, minutes I uh, I missed the match because I was still in the queue buying the drink yeah. and then <laughs> drinking it fast and run and we've all been uh, there yeah. so there you have it the story behind the alcohol ban in English football stadiums let me know in the comments what your thoughts are should the ban stay or should it go